everyone, it's April from OTH Crochet Nook, and today I'm going to give you a very basic tutorial on how to do crochet cables. I designed a brand new sweater for September for Yarnspirations.com that includes this stitch, and I kind of just wanted to show you a very small swatch of understanding how to do cables when you're crocheting um, if you've never done it before. And when you see it on a sweater, you might feel like it's a little difficult. And I'm going to show you exactly how easy it is. I use this beautiful yarn, Red Heart Huga, in this gorgeous colorway, hot pink. I couldn't resist using this color, even for fall. It's so gorgeous. So I'm going to get right to it and show you exactly how to do crochet cables. When uh, in the pattern, when you were reading the pattern, you're going to see that the cables run through six stitches. So the six would be here, would be one, two, three, four, five, six. And when you're crocheting cables, you want to focus on these going behind here. You're not, usually we're focusing on crocheting in these top, uh, top loops here and these top stitches, but for crocheting cables, you want to go behind and in front of these bars here that you did the double crochets in. That's what the difference is with um, crocheting cables as opposed to just doing stitches. Okay. So the pattern that I designed called for a triple front post. So when you're thinking of front post, think about that the stitch that you are doing is being pushed to the front. So even though it might be confusing, cause this was confusing to me when I first started crocheting, my hook is actually going behind. So you're thinking back post, front post, but really think about this actual stitch is coming to the front and that's why it's called front post. Okay. So we are going to do a triple front post. We're going to skip the first three, one, two, three, and we're going to do a front post right here in this first one here. And then we are going to do another triple front post in the next one right there. Then we are going to do one more here right there. I'm trying to go a little slow here. Okay. So now this part's a little tricky. If you've never done cables, you're going to go back to the three that you skipped. So, we're going to put a triple front post in this one, which is the first one, the second one, and the third one. So it's a little tricky if you've never done it because you're trying to hold it kind of weird, but you're going to go back to that first one, do a triple front post, and we're going to do the same thing behind the second one. And now we're going to do the same one in this one here. So we're going to end off this swatch with a double crochet, which is what the pattern will call for. There'll be a bunch of double crochets after that, but essentially you've done your crossover of your cable. I'm just going to show you how the back works because we are going to do now back posts. Okay. So it's still triple, but it's back post. And when you think about back post, you want to think about that this stitch needs to stick out the other way. So you are going to go, it looks like your hook's going in front of it to do a back post, but technically you're going behind it to do your back post. And you need to find all the stitches, all those six stitches that you have in the previous row you're going to make sure that they pop out the other way because right now you are doing the wrong side of the sweater and you need to just find all those stitches and do your triple back post. Oops. There we go. We're going behind it to do the back posts. Just like that. 
We'll just do a double crochet in the last stitch there. And I'm going to show you what that looks like. So you've just gone ahead and pushed out all these stitches here. And see how your cables are coming together? So that's really the two things you need to know. You need to know a front post. You need to know a back post. Because you already know how to do a triple crochet. So that's all you need. Front post, back post. And just make sure that you cross over and find those stitches when you skip them. That's really just the tricky part. So it is really quite easy. And once you do it multiple times, um, you'll get the hang of it and it'll be super easy. The pattern is available for free on yarnspirations.com and I can't wait to see yours. It's the sweater weather crochet cables sweater.